Well, today is the day that we end up taking this trailer over to Hainsworth Farms to pick up another one. Now, if you recall, a few months ago, I think it was back in October or something like that, Jared ordered a trailer from him. It's been working out really nice. This trailer here is the first one that we bought from him. It's the one that Alex has been pulling this fall and winter. And we have traded this one in to get a trailer that is set up just like Jared's trailer. So we're gonna run this Peterbilt clear over to Chuck's place. We're gonna get unhooked from this and we're gonna hook onto the trailer that he has built and set up for us. Now this trailer, if you recall, we've had this for a couple of years. This trailer has the um, pump assembly uh, coming off of the front center part of the trailer. So the trailer is tapered from the front to the middle and then the back to the middle. Jared's got his fan on the back end. We kind of like that design a little better. We can drain out in the uh, lagoons when it's when we're trying to winter haul, whether we're going to another storage facility or uh, spreading in the field. So that's why we traded this one in. So the one that we're picking up is very similar, if not identical to the one that Jared has. And um, uh, it is 8,500 gallons. And uh, this one, I think, was nine. This one might be 8,500 as well. I forget. But you can see this pump assembly sucks off the center of the trailer. And then it's got a swing boom on it, spread plate, and uh, all the goodies. So we'll go ahead and get on the road. We've got a couple of hours worth of pavement in front of us and then we'll be over to chuck's place one thing that's nice about this peter car is it'll go like hell on the road <laughs> uh, i've been out to a, uh, chuck's place a few times with a western star and that's governed right at 62 miles per hour this ought to be able to go a little faster than that all right let's get you up here Alright, we have arrived here in somewhat one piece, I guess you could say. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take this down to his lower yard. Get it unhooked. And we'll come up and grab this, uh, this new trailer here. So we'll get off the road here and get things situated. Talk about a beautiful day. Today is February 3rd, and this is like April 3rd weather. It's about, I don't know, 35, 40 degrees. The sun has shined all the way over here, and this weather has been just perfect for a nice Saturday drive. So we'll get figured out where he wants this parked and uh, we'll get hooked on to that new one. All right, we've got unhooked from that trailer and we're going to go up to his shop and hook on to the new one. He's got a couple of silage trailers there ready to roll out. Other tankers that he's got. I don't know if they're spoken for or not. Some dry hill pumps. Yeah. All right, so we'll get up to the shop there and uh, get hooked up to it. Maybe do a little walk around too. Another thing that he sells are, oh, they're like rock bodies that, um, I'm at the right spot here. Ah, uh, rock bodies that he turns into a trailer and he buys these old rock trucks. 
that are more or less out of commission and uh, he turns them into like dirt all and trailers be pulled behind a uh, tractor so we got to pay attention to what we're doing here and we'll get situated once we get inside here all right so we are all hooked up looks like this one's got a good finish on it there yeah, chucky we, we did the uh did the dot on the whole uh rail down through there to put the extra shine on it for you yeah, it looks good so it uh cut it down shortened it up so it's like 8200 gallons took six five or six feet out of it and made it to the size you guys ordered looks good and then switched it all over to hub pilot it was all on buds Put aluminum rims on it and redid the suspension with new springs new equalizers and got it all set up that way and it's all set up with field spread on the back along with the agitation that you guys request where we run another pipe clear down the side and you can actually turn the boom off and you can send that product all the way back down to the front and there's another elbow in there so it blasts backward and it'll blast that sand that you guys are always dealing with back and try to keep that flash washed down through there. Yeah, so. agitation works really well on that other trailer. Yeah. I mean, Jared, he runs that across the scale all the time or Does did he? it when he first started with it mm -hmm. just to see what he had and he wouldn't have any more than five or 600 pounds yeah. worth of stuff left in that trailer. Yep, yep, I got and, uh, it does really well so that whatever you've done with this design works really yeah, good well it's nice we can put three thousand gallons a minute back up that pipe and put the full pressure of the pump back up to that elbow and then we knock neck it down from eight inch to six inch and so we really charge that nozzle with a lot of head pressure to try to blast it and then even the shortened trailer helps it and even every anytime you even slope a trailer a little more this trailer's got a little bit of a nice slope when it hooks up Every time you got more slope, it's always helping sand move out. Yeah, yeah. So that's always a nice, nice setup there. So, so when I backed up to the door, I'm like, this, things are a little different, but Chuck was telling me he added on. So we're in yeah. the old yeah. part of the building here. In How much did you add on? Right here, we put on another 100 feet down through here, 80 feet wide, and got the old shop stretcher kit called up from my track supply that stretches your shop out a little bit yeah. <laughs> so i only just moved all the doors from this point down to that point and uh just did that this fall and moved some dirt out back and changed the site there so we got a little more room to work on everything yeah. so and now we're still we're over here we put a put a whole new parts room in when we did that so we've got more organization with everything then uh so most of your parts were back that way, right? Yeah, we still so you got moved parts it down back that way, and now we got more parts organization here, here, and then overhead racking for parts here, and then uh, even reorganized all this stuff here where we have got our parts windows for everything all the time and stuff going out. And then we're back over here in the fab shop where we're building more tankers over here. So. Here's another 9,000 gallon we're working on. Here's a shot of these big 315s we put on a lot of the big trailers. It's that big 315 80-22-5 tire, 20 ply tire, which is a ring tread recap, which I'm a big fan of that tire going on trailers for, for payload and weight. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we're just in the middle of production there on this unit here. So, with, uh, is this one getting an agitation kit on no, it or no? no? No, no, we're only doing that, you know, on the few of just on special orders. We're not really building much of that for inventory. We're just, uh, guys call up and they want to have that added on. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And it'll take some time and add that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's all the inventory we had this fall sold out. And we're back down to trying to play catch up again. That's good, right? So, yeah, it just keeps <laughs> us busy. But this will get a swing boom on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's getting ready the... to go. It's all over here on the ground, just all prepped and ready to be put up. Right here. Yeah. 
that's all that's all all in unit and then here's what the pull ports are you can't really get a good look at them but this is where the boom's setting up in that all the time and resting here sticking to about this point and we put a big rubber pad here then when you're backing in to fill you still got this much room here basically for that sock to fall in this goes deep down into the tank so Keeps we don't the get the splash, splash back off, yeah know? and then we've got a vent hole on the side of it but that's what those fill ports are that do all that mm -hmm. all made up so good uh and then out back we're, we're out working in a whole next shop out back there where we're doing painting and fabrication mm. work out there all the time Ooh, I like that smell. You like that smell I of like paint? I like that smell. That's hardener right there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. We're back there messing around with that with the next trailer. And so. Yeah, everything looks good here, Chuck. Yeah, well, that's what. You gotta try to keep stuff organized and stuff going on all the time. You got some trucks that are for sale still too, right? Yeah, yeah, we got some uh, some Kenworth T880s that just came in here. We ran through the shop and took a walk up by those. Just, uh, putting a rear end in our truck. Uh-oh, driver error? Uh, I think there might have been some ice involved. Oh. <laughs> Snapped an axle. Oh. So yeah, we got three of these 2015-16 T880s that uh, are just getting ready to they're just advertised, they're all heavy spec with 46 full lockers and, uh, and uh, air ride suspension. So at 18 speed auto shifts. Hmm. So, and low miles, they've got 300,000 on them, 300, 350,000 on them. So, but, uh, we're just working on that. And reworking our parts room here a little bit and changing some shelving around. And we're gonna move the shear from, or move the shear from here to here. And reset some more shelving here for for uh just uh better organization and stuff we got belting and hoses and fittings and all the okay. parts and pieces down to tail lights for the trailers if anybody needs that stuff lots of aluminum product cam locks and hose tails and all the fittings over here too for all the all the lagoon pump stuff for anybody looking for any of that stuff elbows and hose tails and ring locks fittings and couplers for all that stuff oh it uh got quite an inventory who yeah. keeps track of all that uh, my son and uh, another guy, Jeff. <laughs> it, uh keeping track of all that then out in the other barn we got all spring suspensions equalizers torque arms and yeah. everything down through there and everything to everything on the top to add fill ports for uh for access to everything too yeah. there's the bobbers that go in all the trailers actually there's the bobber that sit in there and that's what's that's what's floating in that trailer when for you're looking for, a, for a gauge that's the gauge in there that bobber floats up and gives you indication mm -hmm. you, know, you never get a really picture of that because don't mm -hmm. have it out there to look at it's just seeing the rod in yeah. there so all the splash pans and pieces and parts that go with everything yeah so, there's the nozzle that we use in the front of that trailer out right there Oh, okay that, that goes from, an eight, eight from eight to, to a six, six. Yep. And we'll put that in there and we'll put a bolt on there so if you do have to plug it you had to get to it you can unbolt that and take it apart and, and uh, plug it if you got something in there that big and then all the elbows that we're using building all that product going to the front and putting all that in so and we got drive lines rubber hose and belting and stuff so all the motors and all the bearing house extensions that go in there for all that and on the back of those tanks and that's how these work there that hydraulic motor plugs into the back of this you fill that half full of oil and then this is what holds the propeller on so we protect that hydraulic line and that whole hydraulic wet line system any failure that you'd have of seal would only come into the bearing house extension and then your sight tube that goes on here that fills this half full of oil. You can see if there was that gets creamy and you know, all you got water in the system. Mm -hmm. Or on the back side, if you ever had a seal failure in the motor, it's gonna fill full of oil and a quart of oil and it's gonna come out the breather on the top. Gotcha. So, but those are, we put those on every trailer for, for protection of that wet line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite impressive. Every so, time I come here, I'm amazed. <laughs> 
The shop extension is what I need. Yeah, that's what you need for sure, Andrew. <laughs> it, uh, you definitely need it. Yeah. Uh, the amount of work you get done in that shop, I uh, give you credit because, boy, you guys sure do knock out a lot of work in a small space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what's this building for length now? Must be 300? Yeah, two, uh, 275. 275, yeah, 275. And you're 80 feet wide? 80 feet wide down there. We're only 67 feet wide here. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, uh, but it gives us a little extra room. Then we put ventilation fans in the both corners down there. Oh, so we've got okay. ventilation fans, and then we put air inlet fans up here on this end. Oh, all right. So air inlet louvers, actually. Okay, so, so when it, when yep. you change air direction, those doors Yeah, we just open or... open by hand. Watch oh, over okay. there. Uh, oh, I those see. Those louvers are underneath there, and we just pull uh -huh. those open, and then we can ventilate the shop here. Yeah. Right? And we're welding as much as we're welding they're trying to keep air moving through mm -hmm. yeah so, but. yeah no everything looks very good so, so if you got anything more to talk about no, or that's probably it there it's a trailer for your daughter there hopefully she likes that yeah working the heck out of that poor girl mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah well we'll get her back to navarino here i guess yep so all right we are now on our way home should be home in about an hour and 45 minutes so we'll see you guys when we get there it is beautiful weather out for february 3rd well it is sunday morning and we got back here last night it was dark so we couldn't do a final walk around of the trailer here now you might be asking why didn't alex go with you alex has been real sick everybody in my house has been sick i've been trying to somewhat stay away from everybody so i don't get it she actually went to the hospital here yesterday morning because she had such a bad cough that she thought she was gonna pass out <laughs> from not being able to breathe from coughing so much so this is the joint right here where they cut this trailer apart took a section out of it brought it back together and welded it up and i think if i remember right chuck says this will hold like 82 or 300 gallons when it's all said and done so we'll be getting this into uh service here shortly Hopefully in the next couple days, Alex feels a little better and she can run this. With that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching and we will catch you at the next one.